John Klassen is a really famous author and illustrator. In fact, he is so famous that in 2018, he was appointed a member of the Order of Canada, recognized for his transformative contributions to children's literature as an illustrator and author. That's like a really big deal. John joins us now to share his book, The Rock from the Sky, a hilarious story about friendship, fate, shared futuristic visions, and that funny feeling you get that there's something off somewhere, but you just can't put your finger on it. Hi guys, I'm John Clausen, and uh, today we're going to be reading a little bit about my new book, A Rock from the Sky. Um, this book has five stories in it, five shorter stories. Uh, we're going to read the first one. Um, the first one is called The Rock. Let's get that in the frame there. Um, this story is about not getting hit by a rock, hopefully. So let's figure out how to do that. Here's a turtle, and he's standing next to a flower. And he says, I like standing in this spot. It is my favorite spot to stand. I don't ever want to stand anywhere else. And then you turn the page, and there's a giant rock falling somewhere above him. We don't know how far away. And now there's like an armadillo mole type thing. I've never really figured out what he is, but call him what you want to. And he comes into the page and he says, hello. And he says, hello, what are you doing? And the turtle says, I am standing in my favorite spot. Come, stand in it with me. And the mole says, okay. So now they're both standing in the spot. And the turtle says, what do you think of my spot? And the mole says, actually, I have a bad feeling about it. The turtle says, a bad feeling? And the mole says, yes. And he points to a spot way far away. You can see it on the other end of the page. And the mole says, there is another spot over there. Do you see it? Yes, I see it. I will go and stand in it to see if it feels better than this spot. And so the mole goes all the way over there, and the turtle says, How does that spot feel? And the mole says, I cannot hear you. You are too far away. I am going to come back. And the big rock is still falling somewhere above them. And the mole comes back. The turtle says, Does this spot still feel bad? The mole says, Yes. It feels even worse than before. I am going to the other spot. Do you want to come with me? The turtle says, no, I will stay here. This is my favorite spot. Are you sure? Yes. So the mole goes back to the other spot, and the turtle stays at his spot. The mole is feeling kind of sad about all this. He's looking at his spot. He wishes the turtle had come. The turtle doesn't really seem to care one way or the other. He's just looking at his flower again. And now here comes a snake wearing a little beret, and he comes to visit the mole. And the mole says, oh, hello. I am standing in this spot by myself. Come, stand in it with me. The snake doesn't say anything. The snake never says anything in this book. And now we see the turtle seeing the two of them, and the turtle says, my spot is better. And the mole says, you are too far away to hear. The turtle says, I am coming closer. The mole says, we still cannot hear you. The turtle finally gets to them and he says, I said my spot is better. And then a giant rock falls on his old spot. And they are very surprised about that. Let's see them. And that's the end of that first story. So, that's, that's how not to get hit by a rock, even though you didn't know it was coming. I hope you liked that story. Why not upload your writing, your videos, and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Telling Tales website? Thank you for joining us. See you again. <laughs>